Drew Hill. Ja, I guess I'll, this is a follow-up on the interview you did for TV, but uh, I heard you say because you missed the free throws that you considered it a bad game for you. I guess my question is 37 points and 10 assists and just a pair of free throws and you think it's a bad game? Do you, do you really believe that or, or is it different? Yeah, um, it's a bad game for me. I missed two free throws that, you know, supposed to, you know, uh, seal the win. So even if they, you know, hit that three late, we won't be in, you know, uh, a close game. Um, so bad game on my part. Unacceptable. Megan Triplett. John. Ja. I know you talked about that TNT interview and I know you consider it a bad game, but I mean, the performance that you, that you had 37 points, how would you just sum up the zone, the mentality that you were in tonight? And also what was it like to go up against Anthony Edwards? Locked in. Um, you know, like I said, I, I said what I said, you know, I'm not going to sit here and, you know, say I'm the, you know, worst guard in the league. I, you know, I believe in myself hundred percent. So, what I said was, you know, the confidence that I got in myself to, you know, be in that top five uh, point guards in this league. And, you know, after, you know, saying that, you, you have to back it up. So that's what I did. And as far as, you know, playing Anthony Edwards, you know, that's my guy, my bro. Um, you know, super excited for him. You know, the stretch he, he's been going on, you know, uh, second half of the season is, you know, incredible. Um, you know, terrific talent, special player. You know, the league's, you know, going to be in good hands with him. And, um, you know, my message to him was, you know, he, he should be doing that, you know, each and every game. Evan Barnes. John, you, you mentioned on TNT or, or today, I think you said that, you know, this is the kind of performance you guys need in this playoff race with eight games to go. Did you feel a greater urgency because it's coming down the stretcher these last two weeks? Um, yeah, you know, I feel like, you know, we came out with a lot of energy, you know, still some things we can fix, you know, uh, rebounding the ball, you know, getting every 50-50 ball. Um, we just got to, you know, continue to get better, continue to grow. And, you know, we know, that, you know, every game from here on out is, you know, very important in us trying to, you know, make the playoffs. So, you know, we, we got to take it as that. We can't come in, you know, being lazy or anything. We got to have energy from the start of the game. And, you know, just take it, you know, one day at a time. You know, can't put too much pressure, you know, on each and every game. We just got to, you know, keep turning the page as we, you know, go along this journey. Terry Davis. Hey, what's up, Ja? What's up? First of all, great pair of shoes you had on tonight. And two, how can this win give you extra bounce to have another successful uh, road trip? Um, you know, it's starting off the road trip. You know, it's always good to, you know, start off with a win. Um, you know, we just got to take, you know, the energy and momentum uh, and set, you know, our next game, um, which in tomorrow in Detroit. Uh, try to come out with a win there as well. You know, uh, play our hardest, play our type of basketball. And then, you know, just keep moving on from there. Last question, Ava Wallace. Hey, Ja, I'm uh, working on a bigger picture piece on Russell Westbrook potentially uh, breaking the triple-double record this season. I know you've spoken of him so highly in the past. Uh, sorry to put you on the spot, but what does he mean to you as a player, and what do you think his his legacy might be? You know, Russ is, you know, a special player, uh, one of a kind. You know, there's not too many, you know, people you see, you know, do what, doing what he's doing on the, on the floor. Um, as far as him, you know, uh, chasing, you know, that all-time record, you know, I'm rooting for him each and every night. Uh, you know, that's big time. You know, you don't hear, you know, too many players doing that. I think they also said this is, you know, fourth season, you know, averaging a triple-double. There's just no way that, you know, should go, you know, unrecognized. You know, getting triple doubles is hard in this league. And for him to be able to, you know, average one, you know, four years in a row is spectacular, man. Uh, you know, a lot of credit goes to him. You know, still a fan, big fan. I'm rooting for him, you know, along the way. And I know, you know, uh, he, he don't really care, you know, too much about the outside noise, but um, it's about time for, you know, people to give him his, his respect. Thanks, Joe. We appreciate it. Yeah. Thanks, everyone. That'll be our last player tonight.